All right, here we're given a number of equations um, in standard forms that represent quadratic functions. And we had to identify which ones represent reflections over the x axis uh, from the parent function, y equals 1x squared. So we're looking at the a value. The a value is the number that's in front of the x squared. It has to be negative. So this one here, y equals negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 12 y equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 7, y equals negative 4x squared plus x minus 9, and y equals negative 1 half x squared minus 6x plus 2. Now, there's other transformations that occurred with many of these um, functions as well, but we're just looking for the reflection over the x-axis. Here we're given quadratic functions in vertex form. So again, the a value now is the number that's in front of the parentheses uh, for the binomial square there. So um, we're looking for negative values. So y equals negative times x minus 3 squared plus 9. y equals negative 1 half times x plus 4 squared plus 2. y equals negative 3 times x plus 1 squared plus 1 y equals negative 7 times x plus 3 squared plus 11, and that is it. So those are your functions that were reflected over the x-axis from the original uh, parent function. Here we're given a number of quadratic functions in factored form. Again, we're looking for the a value it has to be negative uh, for it to be a reflection over the x-axis. So... The a value is the number that's in front of the two binomials that be multiplied by each other. So if you don't see a number in front of it, for example, this first one here, oh, no, there's no number, right? That's okay. That means that number is 1. If you don't see a number there, it's 1. When you see just negative sign in front of it, that means that's negative 1. So the y equals negative 1 times x minus 8 times x plus 9 is reflected over the x-axis. y equals negative 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 5 is reflected over the x-axis. y equals negative 1 half times x plus 5 times x plus 2. y equals negative 2 thirds times x plus 2 times x plus 4. And that is it.